Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use timeline in your blueprints in Unreal Engine 5 to create an animation. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video, we create a blueprint class and we call it BP My Actor. We add it to our scene. And if you didn't watch my last video about blueprint classes, please watch it. It's too much important. You remember from last video, we set the intensity and we make that intensity instance editable so we can change its value in here in in category of my custom variable in intensity and in this video i'm going to show you how you can change the intensity of this light with an animation and for doing that i'm going to use the timeline right so let's just bring this here right click and at the bottom of these actions in here add a timeline and let me explain this timeline to you this is very important notes in unreal engine and unreal engine 5 let's just change its name to to tl for timeline and i want to call it intensity tl intensity right so if you double click on it it will open up this timeline editor in here and first thing that you should do you should know what variable you want to animate if you want to animate a float value you can add this click on this button and you have a animated float value if you want to change a position or a scale or whatever that has vector on it you can add the vector track if you want to add an event track you can add it here and if add add it with this button in here and if you want to add a color track you can click on this so let's just go to our event graph and what we want to change is this intensity in here so let's just delete this variable in here because we want to change the intensity with our timeline okay so the intensity of this light is a float value so what we need to do if we double click on here we need to animate a float value if you click on this button it will give you give you this timeline and I want to call this track to intensity or my intensity because I want you to see it in our blueprint. Let's just compile and go to event graph and you can see that no, there is a variable in here that is calling my intensity. Okay, so whatever value we put in here, you can access it in event graph in here with this my intensity. So how we can do that? First thing that I'm going to show you is that the horizontal value that is in here, uh, it's in second and it is time. But vertical value is our float value. So for example, let's hold shift and click somewhere in our track. So we create a keyframe in here. And for example, we say at the beginning of this track that is zero the intensity of this light I want it to be zero for example okay and let's just add another keyframe with holding shift and left click on our track and I want to say um, for example after three seconds I want to intensity be like 100,000 okay and you can see that we can't see our keyframe because way to the left okay with right click and dragging we can find that keyframe but we can hit these button both of these button so it will show you the all the keyframes okay so in this keyframe i want at the three second the intensity i want to be 100,000 okay so if it has enter no our keyframe will be there and if again click on both of these you can see at the time at the zero second the intensity is zero and at the after three seconds it get to 100,000 okay so you can see it so this is for three seconds and i want our light intensity to start gradually from zero to 100,000 after three seconds and after three seconds more it gradually decreased to zero again so for that I want to change the length of our timeline so in here we can change it to six because we need six seconds okay for doing that so know that we have length of three seconds hold shift and create another keyframe here and I want our intensity at the six to be zero again so we don't see it but if we hit this zoom to fit horizontal no and hit this zoom to fit horizontal we can see this last frame and with the uh, middle most we can zoom out okay so no we can no we can see our keyframes at the time of zero second it is the float value is zero the value is zero and at the second number three it will be 100,000 and at second number six it will be zero again and you can see it no we will have all of these values 
in time in over an event graph okay so let's just compile and connect this intensity to this set intensity in here and let's just instead of connecting this event begin play to set intensity i want to connect it to the play of this okay so let's just bring it down and when our game starts this timeline will start and at the each frame it will trigger this update execution pin and we can connect this to our set intensity so each frame of our game this update will trigger and put a value of our track in our new intensity in here so let's just save it and compile it to see what will happen now if you run our game you should see that intensity increase and after that it decreases, and you can see it so let's just delete all of these light source in here, skylight as well. So now you, we can see our light and let's just run it again and you can see the intensity is increasing after three seconds it will decrease to zero okay so now let's just go here and let me show you some other things in this timeline there are some check boxes in here that i wanted to show you this use last keyframe is for looping so if you don't check this the timeline will ignore the last frame the next is autoplay if you check this compile it and if you go to your event graph you don't need to connect this event Event begin play to this timeline anymore and it will run by itself okay so let's just compile it and run again and you can see the intensity increase and after three seconds it decrease again okay that was for autoplay and if you check this loop this animation will loop again and again and again so let's just compile and run again and you can see that it increase and decrease and it will loop again and again and again and again right so you can see that this replicated is for online multiplayer and, and I, I don't want to show you no I will show you in future videos and this ignore time dilation Unreal Engine have an option that you can um, like you have it in your in max pain that you can slow time and with checking this you can ignore that that time dilation or slowing down time okay you can do all of this animation for a vector as well for example i want to create an event in this this timeline you can add an event by clicking on this add event track icon in here i want to call it for example print hello okay so when do you want this event to happen hold shift and click on in this timeline and you can see that you can change the time after two seconds for example i wanted to say for example uh, give a value of 100 okay so if you save it and compile it and go to our event graph you can see the print hello is here and with that we can say print a string for example okay so you know that after two seconds it should say hello it should say hello so let's just compile it and run our game and you can see after two seconds it says hello that was for this event and like we did it for a float value and a event in here we can do it for vector for positioning scaling or whatever that has vector on it and we can do it for color and i will show you all of them in a practical example not just showing you just plain a print hello the other thing that i want to show you is all of this input execution pin let me explain it first so if you trigger this play from the start it will play from the start right so no matter where this timeline is at this moment it will play from the start if you execute this stop pin it will pause the animation and it will stop right wherever it is and this reverse it will play your animation from wherever it is in reverse and if you want to play your animation from the end to the start you can execute this pin and it will play from end to the start okay so and if you want to play your animation from a time let's say from three seconds in our timeline you can execute this pin and whatever value you put in here for example if you put one in here and execute this pin it will start from time one second in our um, timeline so it will start from here to play okay and other thing that i want to show you is this finished so whenever this play of our timeline is finished this finished execution pin will execute whatever is connected to it and another thing is this direction so it will give you if the if you playing your animation in reverse or in forward right so that's all we need to know for now about timeline please if you like this video hit that like button for me to know that you like this video thank you very much for watching it's my honor to have you here bye